Hey everybody, this is my recipe for peanut butter fudge, which all my friends affectionately call crack because yes, it's that addicting. It has almost no ingredients. It's very simple, cheap to make, so I suggest you try making this one because there's nothing else like this. You just have to try it to believe. I work very quickly, which you kind of see in here. I went slow for videotaping, not to brag or anything, but I just like to get things done. So I chop the butter up into smaller chunks, throw it over medium high heat, and while that starts melting, I start with the uh, evaporated milk, which you usually open with a church key, but I don't have one and I don't feel like buying one so just use a can opener. There's two thirds of a cup of that in there. It's actually five ounces but two thirds of a cup is close enough. Add that and now we go with the sugar. Those three ingredients together are going to be the base of your fudge. We're going to boil this for a while to about the softball stage 234 degrees. So mix it up nicely here and still over medium high heat we'll let that come to boil. While it's heating up I get my peanut butter ready because it's kind of messy. I found some Reese's peanut butter which is hard to find. It uh, tastes like peanut butter to me. Nothing super fancy. So use any peanut butter you have, just as long as it's creamy. There's no point in chunky peanut butter, because chunky fudge, uh, not my style. If you want it that way, go ahead, but that's all up to you. I am not to blame when it tastes like crap. So I have my marshmallow cream. These just come in glass jars, and when you opened it, it poofed up, and it was all sorts of fun. But I'm sad they come in these plastic containers, and it doesn't do that anymore. So, now we got a nice full roiling boil. And you need to stir this constantly for four minutes. A little bit less, and your fudge will be softer. It'll be pretty greasy, but good. If you do it a little bit more, it starts to turn brittle. But uh, this time I went a little bit more. I don't like it to be too greasy and melt. And I was actually mailing some of this, so I wanted it to be a little bit firmer. From there, you add your flavorings, which is peanut butter and marshmallow cream. If you want a different flavored fudge, Substitute something else for peanut butter, which is the one and a half cups. So one and a half cups of chocolate chips and guess what you have chocolate fudge but It's not the greatest for chocolate fudge. I have better recipes for that But for peanut butter you can't beat this. It's It's simply amazing This isn't a uh, recipe. I really created I just modified a different recipe so mix all of that together uh, I guess if you wanted you try other things they have all sorts of different chips with the chocolate chips you can get butterscotch chips but butterscotch fudge does not sound good to me if you want to try it go ahead and experiment let me know how terrible it is so we're going to mix this up till it's all incorporated and our one last ingredient is vanilla. And notice I don't use a measuring spoon because I'm just that good. I use the cap, figure it's about half a teaspoon. Two of those, you get your teaspoon. And you know, nothing in cooking is all of that precise. Baking, yeah, it's kind of precise. And people will say, you know, you have to, me you have to weigh it instead of measure by volume but you know what screw them 
I just throw things together and it always turns out so how can I be wrong so perfection is not what you're going for so smooth all this up you're gonna cool it I throw it in the freezer to cool faster and there you go you got peanut butter fudge it's amazing thanks for watching